हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर ऑनलाइन मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन दिस वीडियो वील स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज डेसिमल्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टिल द चैप्टर्स फ्रैक्शंस नाउ वी हैव थ्री चैप्टर्स फॉर पी जी टू कोर्स दिस आर द चैप्टर्स डेसिमल्स परसेंट एंड जोमेट्री एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज डेसिमल इट इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर्स फॉर पी जी टू कोर्स दैट मीन्स द पेरिडिक टेस्ट टू ऑल राइट सो चिल्ड्रेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर्स वील स्टार्ट विद अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेसिमल सो वट इज डेसिमल वील सी इट फर्स्ट ओके लेट डिस्कस अबाउट इंडियन सिस्टम ऑफ न्यूमरेशन एट फर्स्ट विच यू हैव गॉट इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर्स एक्चुअली you were doing it from last 3 years isn't it yes yes so children whenever we are writing a number every digit have it own place all of you know that and this is the indian place fellow chart and from the right side we are writing the numbers starting so ones is in first period and there are three places ones tens hundreds so ones means we can write as yes, one tens means ten so it stands and now it uh, move to the next side, left side that is hundreds so one zero zero and if you will see now thousands then it's thousands and so way we can do the others also now let's look have it see one then ten so it increases the value and how many is one multiplied by ten then we are getting the tens all right so same way if 10 will multiply it by one more 10 then it's becoming 100 and if 100 multiplied by 10 then it becomes 1000 isn't it yes so that means the values are increasing from right side to left sides now if we will do in reverse way that means it is multiplication if we we'll do the division from like 1000 divided by 10 then what we are getting see here children see 1000 divided by 10 that means we have to write the reciprocal of 10 so if you we'll write the reciprocal of 10 then we have to change the sign also it will be multiplication so 1 by 10 now this 10 100 uh, 1000 so it's 100 so we switch what is becomes 100 so 100 is there now it means it's 100 so now again if we divide 100 divided by 10 we'll get the 10 as 10 div 100 divided by 10 it's all of you know it will be 10 now again we will divide 10 divided by 10 see here 10 divided by 10 so 10 10 will be cancelled so it will be 1 so we are getting the 1 isn't it yes now all of you know in fraction chapters we have got any number you can write in the fractions well. so and if 1 1 we will divide by 1 more 10 so 1 the next place what will be 1 same way if you will do the same reverse process so 1 divided by 10 how we can write it we can write like this 1 upon 10 isn't it yes now same way the next place what it will be then 1 10 1 upon 10 divided by 1 more 10 so what it will be 1 by 10 sign will be changed then reciprocal of 10 1 by 10 so now it means 1 by 100 so it is 1 by 100 all right now the names what will be the names of this place positions so it will be it is called as tens place okay all right it is the tens place and it is 1 by 10 means hundreds place okay all right next same way we can do that other places so we can find out all right children so and ones and tens 
ingredients we can separate it so how we can separate it but by putting a that a dot and this dot is known as the decimal point okay so this is the indian place will chart for the decimal numbers so finally we have got this place will chart for decimal numbers that means thousands hundreds tens and decimal point once tens hundreds thousands so on so one by thousand one upon hundred one upon ten then point decimal once one then ten ten hundreds one thousand so this way we can solve for any given numbers now how we can use this why we have used this decimal point children suppose one number is here Five, three, four, seven. So, if I will ask you that seven is in tenth place, so you will say seven is in ones place. You can say like this also. That means you are getting confused. How you will show it? This seven. I have told that place seven, seven is in tenth place. Okay, but you were saying that seven place value. Place value of seven is ones. That means it's seven into one. So now you are getting confused. How you will show it, children? So how we can show it by if you put a point here, then it will be clear to understand. We now we can easily say seven is in tenths place and four is in ones place. All right. So that means. To separate a whole number and a fractional part of the number, we put a small dot in between, which is called the decimal point. So this part is known as the whole part, whole number part. Okay, and after decimal, which is the this number is called a decimal part. So in a decimal number, there is two parts. All right, children. And how we'll read it? After decimal, we'll just mention the digits. Okay, like seven here only will say that five hundred thirty four point seven. Okay. Now let's see here decimal fraction. Actually, these all are the decimal fraction one upon ten, one upon hundred, one upon thousands. The fractions in which the denominators are ten, hundred, thousand are known as the decimal fraction. For example, seven upon ten, seven. by 100 567 by 1000 etc these are called the decimal fractions like 10 denominators are 10 100 1000s and that means it is the the denominator should be power of 10 see 10 power 1 10 power 2 10 power 3 then 10 4 how this means that should be like this okay so 7 by 10 Now let's see one thing. Seven by ten. How we can write in decimal form? So decimal form. How we can write it, children? We have to count the number of zeros in the denominator after one and put the decimal in the numerator, starting from right to left after as many digits as number of zeros. Okay. So here. In ten, how many zeros are there? One zero. And numerator is only one digit. That means it is seven only. So we have to put the the decimal after one digit, as one number of zeros is one. So from right side we have to do so seven. Then of one digit, all right. Now we'll put the decimal. Then. For as entry, no other digit is having here, so we'll put one zero. That means it sh it will show the integral part is zero. All right. Now suppose fifty six by hundred. How we can do it? Number of zero is two, and there are digits in the numerator. Number of digits also two. Same. So now we'll put the com uh, decimal after two digits. So six and five. If you write, then we'll get the Point okay, and integral part no other zero uh, digit is there, so we'll put one zero. All right, so zero point five 
six and you will don't read like this uh, zero point fifty six you have to say zero point five six or you can say decimal five six okay children now and these things already I have told decimals uh, what is called the uh, two part whole number part and decimal part all right now let's move to the exercise questions so in in our first exercise exercise 7.1 the cover first question is write the following decimals in words so we have to write these decimals into words so 632.17 so it will write 632.17 simply now it's very easy second one is 287.194 so these the things and c number also same way 892.103 892.103 so after decimal you no need to write here decimal point only point you can write and here point one zero three okay children you don't say like this one hundred three you have to say one zero three and same way the rest of the sum can be solved by you d and e number and two number is now let's do the two number write the flying fraction as decimals so this i have explained just now only a number six by ten how we can write it one digit is having in zero number of zero is one we have to look the number of zero so it will be zero point six now second one is six of three by ten so it is in a which fraction in fraction chapter we have got it is in a mixed fraction now we have to convert into the improper fraction so six six into ten is sixty and plus three sixty three by ten now you can see the number of zero is here one and there are two digits so after one digit we will put the point so it will be three point six that means six point three this is the result all right now same with c number eight by hundred so eight by hundred there are two digits so digit is number sorry number of zero is two but digit is in the numerator one is it so we have to make it two digit how we can make by put if we'll put one zero to the left side of the digit so it will be 0 0.08 now it's become 0 if you give like this 0 8 so it's now becomes the two digit number and after two digit begin then we'll put the point and as integral no other digit is there so integral part should be zeros that's why right, 0 0.08 but if we'll put any other like this 0 0.080 that will also be same if we'll put the x after decimal if we'll put the point zero from the right side of a number then it will not does it does not change the value of that number but if we'll put the zero in the left side it will be change the value after point okay children now i hope it's clear to you and same way the question number two d e f g s can be solved by you thank you